Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, you may have seen a spate of YouTube videos talking about the new genitive model found in the current version of Photoshop. That genitive model is Gemini 3 Nano Banana Pro. In those videos, people are demonstrating all the great features of this new genitive model. But one thing I haven't seen demonstrated is how well this genitive model does at restoring old photos. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how it's done. Now, my main complaint with AI photo restoration is that often it will change the way the people look in the photo, so much so that it often doesn't even look like that person. Well, I found that Nano Banana Pro does a really good job. For example, I have this image here. It's obviously a very old image. I want to restore it. So, the first step is I need to select everything. So just hit Command A or Control A on your computer so that you have the entire image selected. When you do that on the contextual taskbar, you'll have a generative fill button. Click on that. Then you'll have a prompt. Now, before we fill in the prompt, let's change it to the correct model. To do that, go over here and click this little square, and you'll notice there's a number of different models. The Firefly models are Adobe models. Then it has some partner models. There's Flux Context Pro. There's Gemini 3. This is the new one, the one I'm talking about. And there's Gemini 2.5. So make sure that you're using Gemini 3 with Nano Banana Pro. So we're choosing that one. Now the prompt I suggest you use because I've experimented with different prompts is repair, restore, and remove yellow color cast. That's it. I found that with that prompt, it has almost always done a perfect job. So let's just click generate and you'll notice then it has to do what it does and it will restore this photo. Now, if you are familiar with the you know the generative features in photoshop you know that the photoshop firefly generative features gives you three variations well with any of the partner models you won't get three variations you'll get just a single variation so if it doesn't do a good job this time you'd have to do it again now you could see i think it did a great job and i think you'll agree that it really didn't change the way the people look uh, right? I think it looks pretty good. Now, let's go to another one and just try this one. This one is really damaged and, and very, very yellow. So again, we need to select everything first. To do that on a Mac, hit Command-A. On a PC, hit Control-A. So we have the entire image selected. If you're new to Photoshop, you can tell everything's selected because you have these marching ants going around the outside. We'll click on this gender to fill. It will default to the last um, partner model or model that you used. In this case, again, we need to use this Nano Banana Pro. And then we're going to put in that same same exact prompt and we'll click Generate. And we'll let it, let it do its thing. Now, if you do not want the image de-yellowed, just remove that part, you know, the color cast remove, the part about the color cast in that prompt. Just remove that and then it will keep the image with the sepia tone. Personally, I don't like it with that old sepia tone. So that's why I um, removed it. As a matter of fact, on the next image, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. And it, you can see here now, it did a great job. And again, I don't think it really changed the way the people look. I think it looks still exactly like those people. And again, uh, what I found with other so-called AI photo restoration, often it just changes the face quite a bit. Now here's another one. Let's, on this one, not, like, remove the yellow. So we'll, um, again, select everything, hit Command or Control A, go up to Generative Fill. I'm just going to paste in that same prompt. But we're going to um, just remove the ending, basically. So we'll remove that ending, and then we'll just, maybe to make it proper grammar, we'll go in here, and if I could do it, there we go. No, let's just let me do it. All right, here. There, we'll move that comma and we'll put an and. All right, repair and restore and just click generate. Now, you'll see that it will repair and restore it, but it will leave that yellow uh, color cast, but that's okay. And then I'm going to show you what happens if you try to colorize it. I found 
that often if I've tried to colorize an old image, then it will change it quite a bit. Uh, like I tried it on this image before and it changed his hat. So th in those instances, if you're going to colorize, I believe that's when you'll see the most difference. Now you could see here what it did. It, um, it still stored the, repaired the damage and restored it to a point. It just didn't remove that yellow color cast. So let's go back. I'll undo that or I'll just turn off that layer. We're on the original layer again. Let's go and select everything again by hitting Command or Control A. Go to Generative Fill. And just let me show you the with the original prompt, Repair, Restore, and Remove Yellow Color Cast. I just want to show you what this looks like. All right. And then I'll show you what happens when we colorize it. So, and then I'm going to show you, we're going to do it on an old color photo as well. It will res we'll restore old color images. So it does a good job there we'll let it do its thing. I just want to show you why personally, I think it's better when you remove the yellow color cast. Um, I, to me, it just looks better. So there it is. So there, I think it does look a lot better. So here's the original image. Here's the, um, the repair and restore and removing the yellow color cast. And then here's when we didn't remove the yellow color cast. Now let's turn those layers off and go back down to the original background layer. And again, select everything by hitting Command or Control A. Go up to Generative Fill. We'll type in um, Repair, Restore, and Colorize. This. Oh, we don't even have to write that. Anything else. Just Repair, Restore, and Colorize and click Generate. Now, like I mentioned, I did do this one time before, and it changed his hat, um, like a lot. It made, his, his, he had a different hat, just totally on the how else to explain it. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, one thing about AI, you know, it's different almost every time you do it. So that's um, a good thing, I guess, if you don't get the results you want the first time. You could try it again. You might get better results. But it's bad in that, Sometimes it will substantially change something. And here again, it changed his hat. Maybe not as drastically as it did when I tried it um, the first time, but it did change his hat. So if you're going for more historical accuracy, you may want to be careful colorizing an image. But in this case, I think it actually does look pretty good. And in my opinion, it does still look like the people. And the dog looks like the dog. That hasn't changed much either. The dog maybe changed a little bit. But anyway, I, th I thought it did a pretty good job. Now, I mentioned that if you do have a color photo, here's an old, old damaged color photo, that it will do that as well. So again, we're going to select everything by hitting Command or Control A, go to Generative Fill, and then put in that same original prompt, prompt I've been using all along, Repair, Restore, and Remove Yellow Color Cast, and click Generate. And you'll notice I, I tried this once on this image, and it look great. It looked like a, it really looked like a regular old color photograph that wasn't, you know, that old and wasn't damaged and it looked pretty good. So again, not sure what we're going to get this time, but if it didn't look right, I'd have, I just have to like turn that layer off or throw it in the garbage and then go on that original background layer and try again. So here it, in this case, it looks more like a digital image now, but if I didn't like it for any reason, I would just, I could turn it off click back onto the background layer and then try it again or just drag this layer into the garbage. But I think that looks pretty cool. Now, all of the images I've showed you so far are actually Adobe stock images because I don't really have a lot of old damaged images of my own. Uh, but recently, my cousin uh, was visiting some distant cousins in our family. So my direct cousin, my first cousin, was visiting some some distant cousins in our family and they shared with him this photo because his dad is in this photo and my mother is in this photo and this is my mother right up here she was around 15 this was taken right around the end of world war ii so like maybe 1946 and i don't know really anyone else in this photo except this little guy right here is my uncle donnie so everyone else i really don't know i don't even i'm not even sure i think this is my cousin my cousin's dad but i'm not even 100 percent sure if that's him with that said, um, it's an old image, and I want to, like, somebody here circled people 
I don't know why. Now, select everything, Commander Control A, generative fill, same prompt we've been using all along, and click generate. A couple things I want to show you, though, really quickly, is I didn't even have to tell it to remove the circles. It's going to remove those. But notice down here, uh, my Uncle Donnie here, like his left leg is gone. I don't know what is going on there. If you look right here, his left leg's gone, and it's not going to regenerate his leg. So when it does, like, fix it, it's going to be missing his leg still. And it's going to be more noticeable, I think, because it's been restored. But you can see what it did here. So and pretty much everyone looks pretty much like they did before. Um, I tried this again on my own. Um, and actually, this is probably the worst rendition it ever did. It did better than this in the past. Uh, but with that said, uh, it still, I think, um, does a really good job in all of all the different AI photo restoration, like, you know, things I've seen. I think this does the best job at least what is available so far. So again, that's uh, this new generative model in the current version of Photoshop. It's not exclusive to the beta version of Photoshop. Um, it's Gemini 3 Nano Banana Pro. Try it out for yourself. Let us know in the comments how it worked on your old photos. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.